Hi, I'm Terry, and I'm nuts about stamping. Have you heard about pinwheels? Perhaps you bought one when you were a child or learned how to make one to attach to a pencil eraser when you were in elementary school. I know I did. Pinwheels are a current trend in card making and scrapbooking. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a pinwheel and then share a few different card ideas using pinwheels. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel this size. You want to have some scrap designer series paper. When you choose your designer series paper, consider the pattern on both sides because you will be seeing both patterns. So you want to make sure it's something that you can uh, match up with a card base and maybe some solid cardstock. The other thing that I use to make this particular size of pinwheel is my 1 and 3 8 inch square punch. And so I would have punched three squares to make that little pinwheel card. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how to make one pinwheel and then you would make two additional ones after you know how. Now what you want to do is find the center point of your square. So you can do that by folding your square in half to make it a triangle and then in half again to make another triangle and then see if you can sort of see the center point and I would make a circle with a pencil and then you're going to take your paper snips and starting at each corner you're going to cut in towards the center point but don't go all the way to the center point because if you do you'll end up cutting your pinwheel into two sections and that won't work for you then. Alright so I've cut in on all four corners to pretty close to the center point but not quite two. And then you can use a variety of adhesives. You can use your snail adhesive or you can use your multi-purpose glue. Um, I would say the larger the pinwheel the stronger the adhesive and so perhaps your liquid glue would be best. Put a little bit of snail adhesive in the center of your pinwheel where your dot is. Then you want to take one of the corners fold it up and stick it down and that's one. Then your next triangle you're going to take the one on one side. So you're going to alternate then turn it. Take one. You may have to add some more adhesive on top. And then fold that in and then on the last one take that one and fold it in. So on each triangle that you create by cutting into the center with your paper snips you want to fold up just one corner of the triangle and press it into the center and there you go you have a pinwheel. Now if you want to cover up the center because perhaps when you folded them in and stuck it down it was a little off center which is kind of like mine looks like you might want to take a circle from your itty bitty punch pack or maybe one of the circles from the Owl Builder Punch or Cupcake Builder Punch and put it as a center decoration. Um, then what you can do is take your paper piercing tool and your mat, poke a hole through the center and then attach one of the silver mini brads in the center just to add a beautiful decorative touch. I'm going to bring in my card and show you that I used the circle from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack and one of the mini silver brads. And then to attach my pinwheel to the Designer Series paper strip, I used some Stampin' Dimensionals because I wanted to have some lift off of my page. So that's one example, and that was using a 1 and 3 8 inch square punch to create the beginning shape for my pinwheel. Let me show you a second example. This one uses the Howl's Tooth and Scaring Bone Designer Series paper that's in the holiday catalog. And for this pinwheel, I used a two inch square that I just cut using my Fiskars paper trimmer. And then in the center, I put a black glimmer brad. And then for the tail, because you know on the pinwheel when I was in school I used a pencil, you could use a toothpick, but I just used a piece of leftover designer series paper that matched the paper that I used for the stand for the pinwheel. 
And then I also used one of my embossing folders for the um, base of the card. And then my final sample to show you is a four inch square pinwheel. Again, using some designer series paper, folded it in the center, and this time I used one of the Bright's brads to hold the pinwheel together in the center. I used some multi-purpose glue first, and then when it was dry, I added my center circle, which is a half inch circle, and then the brad, and then added my hello from the Lacey and Lovely stamp set. So now that you know how to make a pinwheel, I challenge you. Choose a different size of pinwheel that you want to try at home and create one to make a decorative touch to a card front or perhaps you would like to add them to a scrapbook page to celebrate something that matches your photos. I'm Terry. I'm nuts about stamping. For more project ideas, please visit my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com. Thanks for watching. Happy pinwheel making. <laughs> Bye.